Yes. Regular uh, 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 injectors, you know. Nothing crazy. I gotta do a five speed swap and a good clutch and then fuel system and we're good to go. How much, how much power are you looking to make today? 500. 500? Let's find out. 500 on a precision, fully built, precision next gen turbo. Stock clutch. Man. Stock clutch. Let's find out. Jeez, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. I think that's the first, a fully built setup like this, want to come through and only make 500. Eventually, we're going to swap it to a 5B and put a bigger clutch and a bigger fuel system. Right. But for now, it's going to bring it in the moment.
wants to, it wants to eat. Oh yeah, it wants more. It wants more. <laughs> Damn. It was perfect too. It was 11 for air far the whole way. Yeah. She needs more RPM and more and more just more of everything. Man, so after we just finished that session, how did the car feel now for you um, from the whole overall experience? First grade, all right, car pulled nice, information is perfect, stock computer, this guy is a kid, all right? <laughs> so much you guys hit out this guy, right? How did it feel just now when you went for that test pull? It feels good, even she needs more RPM. I know you're trying to keep it safe too, because uh, stock computer and a stock, uh, fuel system. Thank you for the support. Make sure you guys follow this guy yeah. and bring this evil here. Okay? Yeah, he got 1,000 cc injectors yeah. and some single pump, but uh, we kind of keep it nice and tame. So, First all right, man. Thank you. I appreciate much. you thank coming you. down thank for me, man. Thank you, bro. All right, bro. Appreciate all right. you, bro. This is Desmond here from Performance Destination. Just had one of my buddies, which is also now a client of mine, um, Frustrate EG. Everybody know him as Daniel. Also goes by Frustrate EG. He has his. He brought his personal evil in for me to tune today. Um, it was a different type of setup because he came in with a setup that's fully built, uh, next gen precision turbo. I think it was like a 76 mil or, or a 70 something mil turbo, um, S2 cams, fully built setup, everything. But he came in on small fuel system because he wasn't looking for power. He just wanted to be able to drive it, to get it running, to use it and drive it around. So um, his, his fuel system was small. So we have him kind of capped at what he's limited to. So he came in, he had FIC 1000 CC injectors. He has one AEM 340 fuel pump, stock fuel lines. He has a fuel pressure regulator, um, no relay in the pump. The car is very promising. The car was slowly starting to make power, but then as I give it more boost, the fuel started running away, started leaning out. Um, not, on, not only that, but his, it sounds funny, but his clutch system is also stock. He also has a stock clutch. Uh, everything is fairly fresh, so it's holding a little bit. So my whole purpose today was making the power, let it come in slow, just so it doesn't destroy the life of the clutch, and then let it hang out up throughout the rest. Um, that's exactly what we did. You know, we started working it from ground zero, and then started working it, working it, working it, working it. We had them at 501 406 for pounds of torque but the fuel system started running away at that power so he was limited where his um right towards trying to get towards red line it, uh, it will start leaning out leaning out leaning out so i told him you know the only way for this thing to make a clean hit clean pass all the way straight through is to lower the boost down so this way we can have a good safe afr the whole entire way you know it was 11.4 the whole entire way and you know, before, by the time it was getting up into the upper high RPMs on the 501 pass, it started leaning out. And then I didn't want to, I just lifted and let out. So we have them right around 471, 382 for pounds of torque. Um, and that's where he's limited on his fuel setup. Once he goes bigger injectors, bigger fuel system, double pumper um, on his same setup, it probably do 900 plus easily. Um, 950, 960. Um, upwards, upwards and on, but um, he's happy with it. This car, went out, we went out for a street pull at this power level and we ripped it on the street and every gear he changed was 
banging through it hard. Like it felt super solid. For how big that turbo is, of uh, how it's getting into boost, um, I didn't think it would feel that strong at this power level because you know I know it's a bigger turbo, so it might be a little bit more laggier. It's we're not feeding it a bunch of boost, so it's not gonna feel like that instant burst. But sure enough, it sure did. Like this thing ripped so hard. The power band carried all the way. This is a flat power curve. This is what you want your power band to look like. Some some power bands will scoop up and then it fall out and wiggle out and stuff like that. This one comes on and it just maintains the ride all the way straight through the whole entire time. It doesn't fall off. It just keeps pulling, keep pulling. As I go up in more RPM, it just keeps pulling, keep pulling. It doesn't fall off. So that's exactly what this makes the car feel strong. It makes it feel healthy. This is what makes what power level at this power level or higher power level this is what makes the car run strong and feel strong for what it is um and that's what i was mainly told i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna make sure it idles cruise ac on and off great drivability and literally driving around orlando when he came up um it feels like stock you know he came from he came from all the way of miami florida to orlando the, the tune with me and it feels stock you know and but by the time he gets on it the power is there and it you know it doesn't feel stuck you know so it, it feels comfortable down low and it feels really aggressive and smooth up top and exactly what he wanted for right now his goal was 500 we touched 500 but then i had to back it out because i wanted to make sure it's a clean run and not just a regular run just for internet numbers so um he's happy with it he loaded back up he's going back to miami and this car is running strong he said in, he said in a few a few weeks few months he's upgrading the fuel system and um we're gonna turn it up you know we're gonna turn it up we're gonna try to get to try to make a number on it and see what it does but it's running super healthy super strong right now he's happy and, uh, and i'm happy if you too would like to work with us just like daniel did you can give me a call at 941-268-7493 or you can reach me on all platforms of social media at performance destination thank you for watching till next time Mm-hmm. <laughs>